Lower the kill unit into the dry dock. How y'all folks doing this fine day? It's Gator here at the cable company. I'm so glad you come in to see me today. Uh, this one here is about the Newport Shipbuilding Company. It's uh, requested by one of my great followers and supporters, Debbie. Demi, uh, distracted. Uh, you come in. Uh, you got a good one coming in here now. This one here, it kind of tore me up when I made it. I, I brought tears to my eyes, but you'll enjoy it, I hope. As a welder, you will first be qualified through the shipyard's nationally recognized welding school. NNS welders weld using a wide range of filler materials and welding processes to perform structural and pipe welds in all phases of ship construction. This trade offers enormous room for growth for individuals who display exemplary job performance and desire to apply visit buildyourcareer.com. Newport News Shipbuilding NSS, a division of Huntington Ingalls Industries, is the sole designer, builder, and refueler of the aircraft carriers and one of two providers of submarines for the United States Navy. Founded as the Chicopee Dry Dock and Construction Company in 1886, Newport News Shipbuilding has built more than 800 ships, including both naval and commercial ships. Located in the city of Newport News, its facilities span more than 550 acres. The shipyard is a major employer, not only for the lower Virginia Peninsula, but also portions of Hampton Roads south of James River and the harbor, portions of the Middle Peninsula region, and even some northeastern counties of North Carolina. The shipyard is building two Gerald Ford class aircraft carriers, the USS John F. Kennedy, CBN-79, and the USS Enterprise, CBN-80. In 2013, Newport News Shipbuilding began the deactivation of the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, USS Enterprise, CBN-65, which is also built. Newport News Shipbuilding also performs refueling and complex overhaul, RCOH, work on the Nimitz-class aircraft carriers. This is a four-year vessel renewal program that not only involves refueling of the vessel nuclear reactors, but also includes modernization work. The yard has completed RCOH for five Nemesis-class carriers, U.S. Nemesis, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, the USS Carl Vinson, the USS Theodore Roosevelt, and the USS Abraham Lincoln. As of November 2017, this work was underway for the sixth Nemesis-class vessel, the USS George Washington. The legacy of the Enterprise name continues as Enterprise CVN-80 is well under construction here at Newport News Shipbuilding. Shipbuilders say the units are like puzzle pieces. They're putting them together in a process called modular construction. It's all to meet U.S. Navy's demands by pushing construction faster. Some of these units also have pieces of steel from Enterprise CVN-65. Just feet away from a war veteran, a new aircraft carrier is under construction. So it's really cool to be working on CVN-80, the new Enterprise, next to the old Enterprise, which was the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Just to be a part of history like that, it's kind of neat to be next to brand new and, and old at the same time. Shipbuilders lay the groundwork. Here, I'm currently grinding in way of the sea chests that go on the inner bottoms of CVN-80. They're important because they control the suction on the bottom of the boat and the water intake as well. This is the bottom of the boat. This is the beginning of the boat. Every building, everything has a good structure, a good bottom to it in order for it to be tall, in order for it to be strong. It's tough physical work, but technology helps out. Some shipbuilders are using visual work instructions on laptops. We've been working with the VWIs instead of the regular paper drawings, and it's been really nice to be able to integrate that into our building process, and it's just made it much easier and much more understandable, less mistakes, less rework. Less rework and more planning ahead as pipes are loaded into the units. These units, though, 
Right now they're standing alone, but they will come together. Certain pipes can't be hanging out before they come together because they'll get in the way. But you want to be able to get the pipe in afterwards. So we just kind of load it in the place where it will be. These pipes play an important role as they will hold jet fuel in the future. Eventually, these units will be lifted into the dry dock where the build continues. For Newport News Shipbuilding, I'm Lena Wallace.
to see me today. It's been a pleasure to put this to be, together for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. You might consider subscribing to the channel and join me on, on Sundays, okay, for my live stream. We have a lot of fun. We're playing hangman, learning about the Constitution. It's all about the Constitution for me. I hope you stay with me, okay? Bye-bye for now.